Hi, and welcome to whatever this channel is about. So recently I saw this meme, which I want to talk about. And it says that as a child, I thought I'd deal more with the Bermuda Triangle, drugs, uh, lost in the desert, seeing a barrage, quicksand, things like that. Because a lot of the 70s, 80s TV shows had those elements in them. People caught in quicksand or or whatnot. And this made me think of like the things that terrorize you as a kid are things that don't happen. I mean, there are things that happen, but yeah, like the Bermuda Triangle is a non-issue and quicksand is like no one, I've never had to deal with that. It made me think of like other, other things that have a, uh, other fears from childhood that just did not ever manifest. So I posted this on social media and some people came up with some ideas. One thing I thought of is thunderstorms. Now, I know people are like, thunderstorms happen. And again, for me, childhood thunderstorms happen all the time and I love them. But I live out here in Seattle and you never, it doesn't happen. There's no thunderstorms, which I miss. I totally miss. So getting struck by lightning is not a possibility really out here because maybe once a year, if that, there might be a thunderstorm. I can see it very situational, these fears, because out here, those fears don't exist. But on the East Coast, we had lots of thunderstorms over the, over the summer, over the spring. So it was more of a fear. So I could see the quicksand and, and other fears are valid for people in areas where those are more real. But they're not real here. Piranhas was something that someone else mentioned on the on the social media is a thing that fear from childhood because you see them all the time and like, oh yeah. But they're not actually something that we have to deal with here. People maybe in South America have to deal with. Kids in the US don't have to deal with that. What else was there? Spontaneous human combustion. Isn't it odd how now that we've moved away from open flame things like candles and lanterns and torches, that cases of spontaneous human combustion are not heard of. Hmm, makes one wonder uh, what happened, i.e., yeah, it was someone actually caught fire from something else and they decided to blame it on spontaneous human combustion. But that also made me think of, okay, so you're also told to drop, stop, and roll, or stop, drop, and roll, which sounds like great advice, but if you're not near an open flame, mo most likely if you're in a situation where you're gonna catch fire, everything around you is already on fire. And and as seen from what happened in Hawaii, the fire moves very, very, very fast. So I'm not sure if stop, drop, and roll is the best advice. Maybe taking off the article of clothing that is on fire and getting out of the situation. But if you're already in a situation where you're surrounded by fire, you're pretty doomed to begin with. So I don't know how good the stop, drop, and roll suggestion is. And it also made me think of movies is, like you see again, movies and TV shows, they show you the quicksand, they show you the piranhas, they show you the situations, but you never actually, I can't remember ever seeing a movie in which the person uses stop, drop, and roll as a solution when they catch on fire, because people catch on fire in movies all the time. But I feel that has to do with more of the movie making process and not a messaging process, because I believe they use like a kind of like a jellyish type of solution for doing the something to use the jelly solution for the fire. And so stop, drop, and roll isn't as effective, so they're not gonna show it. Don't catch on fire is a good thing. Oh, and then hiding under desks was the advice, or hiding in doorways for earthquakes. And I have experienced one or two earthquakes, and I kind of get the philosophy of that, because you don't want debris to fall on you. But again, I grew up in the 70s and 80s, and they also wanted you to hide under desks in case of nuclear attack which we found out later is not because of any kind of saving you type of situation, but because it's easier to find the bodies afterwards. Now that could be rumor speculation, but that's what I've heard after the fact. And, or it could be like a holdover from like World War II when the bombings happened in London, uh, you hide under objects to stop you from getting hit by debris. You don't be able to stop the bombs. Just random thoughts of childhood fears I don't really remember a lot of uh, 
tornado advice, even though I lived in Indiana for like 13 years. Maybe someone who grew up in there had tornado advice as a kid, but that wasn't a thing. No, the biggest thing were, were the ones I mentioned, and also, yeah, nuclear war was a huge, huge fear of childhood. And that one actually had the possibility of happening where the others like quicksand and, and piranhas were not very likely. Anyway, those are where my ramblings are today. What were your unusual, unmet childhood fears when you were growing up? Let me know in the comments. Thanks.